What is up everybody? Sterling Max here, and as you can probably tell, I've got a little bit of a different video in here for you today. I kind of wanted to take this time and focus on the practice area of the clubhouse here today. This is a beautiful little clubhouse that they built for us here in Golf Plus. And uh, I just wanted to take some time and uh, talk about this because one of the things I've found when I've been playing public matches with other folks is that they don't realize that you can actually practice going down into the pit area and getting your chipping and your putting practice in. And I kind of wanted to focus on that today. So this one's going to be more of a video for beginners who don't know how to use the practice area, but hopefully a lot of you folks who've been playing for a while might find some benefit out of it as well as I talk about my favorite chipping areas and why and uh, putting areas as well. So let's get started, but before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about how we get into the practice area. So let's do that first. All right, so here we are, first hole at Castle Links, beautiful golf course. And let's say we decide that we wanna get some practice in. So we bring up the main menu and we can go to practice right here. And from practice, we have the option of choosing how to set our wind, either low, moderate, or high. Let me go ahead and stick with moderate. And also our green speeds, which is very important for us because now that we're going to be practicing our chipping and putting, this is going to be actually relevant for you. So we're going to stick with fast in this one, just to give ourselves a baseline. And we're going to go to clubhouse. Now one of the things you might not realize about the clubhouse is that the clubhouse is always set to pro difficulty. So even if you're only playing novice or amateur, pro is what you're going to be set at when you come to the clubhouse. So it's a good place to get used to it since you're not going to be graded on anything or lose any strokes. You're just out here having a good time and trying to get better as we all are. Right, and here we are back at the practice area. So, the most important thing you need to know for practicing your chipping and putting is how to get to the area to practice your chipping and putting. And the best way to do that is to use the joystick to move yourself forward so that you see the pointer, just like you do on the golf course, and point yourself down into the area and let go. And now you're here. You've been transported to the pit area. And from here, we can practice our chipping and putting. One of my favorite areas for practicing my chipping is right here, right behind the pit sign. From here, you can come to the menu, choose place ball, put the indicator right by your feet, when you're comfortable hitting, and there you go. You're ready to start practicing. So one of the reasons I like this area is because you've got three common distances that you're going to find out on the golf course, about 20 to 25 yards right in front of you, 30 to 50 yards, but more like the 30 yard one right here, and then 40 yards just beyond the 24 yard one. So let's go ahead and take some practice chips, oh, sand wedge, I like to chip my lob wedge. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and give 30 yards a try. All right, made it. Don't want to leave that one short. And here we have our 40 yard one. Not too bad. There you go. And if you ever want to teleport to a shot while it's in the air, you just have to hit the trigger button just like you would in the course. And it will take you back to your ball at the end when it's done. If you hit the trigger button one last time. As long as it's still rolling, It'll take you there, and as soon as it stops, you hit the trigger button one last time, and it takes you back to your ball. There you go. Now, if you want to practice putting, 
You can do that on any putting green. Every putting green is viable for practicing putting, the same way that we just did the chipping. You come to your green, place the ball down, and away you go. There you go. Oof. That's one of the reasons I don't like putting from these greens. These greens, to me specifically, are to be chipped to. The greens that you want to use to putt to are the ones further back with the slopes that you're more likely to see on an actual golf course. These greens right here. My favorite one in particular is this one right here, this hourglass shaped green close to the end of the fairway. Because right here you have the most gentle slope, there's not much break, and this to me is the best putt to use to test out what your putter face is doing so that you can see what you need to hone on to practice. It's a gentle uphill slope, not much break. Ooh, see, that was way right. And then that's left. <laughs> There we go. We got one in. There we go. It's much better. Ah, I left it short. So you get the idea. Once you get an idea of what your putter, putter face is doing, get some reps in making some five to seven foot putts, then you can kind of move yourself backwards a little bit. Give yourself a little bit more room and test yourself out. Go ahead and put the ball down like so. And now we've got ourselves about a 10, 12 foot putt. Fairly straight, all uphill. And again, this is on fast greens, but you can set this to medium, pro, all that, just like we showed you at the beginning. And you can use this putt to work on your distance and control and your speeds. Oh, just short. Oh, well. Get in there. One last one. Oh, got robbed. Oh well. So now you see how easy it is to test out your putting. And you can do this on any of the putting greens. They're all viable. Well, except for the front ones. Like I said, I think the front ones are more for, for chipping too. But if you want to practice your putting, all of these are great putting greens you can get out to. Now also, if you want to go back to the clubhouse, just go to the main menu first option right here is clubhouse and that brings you right back here so you can get back to <laughs> working on the drivers and the irons oh wow so i hope this video has been helpful for you if it has please hit that like button so we can help this video get out to other folks who might not know what you now know about the practice area and uh, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of when I release new videos like this one or 1v1 match play videos or golf plus tournament videos. This has been Sterling Max. I'll see you on the next one.